Okay, I've been meaning to make this video for a long while now and I keep putting it off. It's about um, what happened to me when I hit rock bottom, what my life was like before I gave up. And I got a message on here from your human condition and he's asked me what my rock bottom was like so I decided to bite the bullet and make this video. Uh, I'll start with my son first. My uh, son wasn't brought up. My son was dragged up. He had clothing, food and love and that was all he had. He went through everything with me, all my drunken nights, my drunken days, my drunken parties. I didn't just drink either. I took drugs as well. <clears throat> but drugs were never a problem with me. That's why um, all my videos are on alcohol. Uh, they didn't uh, get a grasp on me like everything else, but I was well and truly into drugs as well. My son, I had, when he was about 12 years old, some, I had the um, parent, uh, the child welfare come around and they had been, to somebody had told them that I had been leaving my son at home by himself when I was out drinking. And of course I denied this, which was absolutely true, I was. And they were questioning me extensively. They needed proof, they couldn't just come in and take my son away. And my son is extremely intelligent and extremely savvy and even at 12, he was in his bedroom with the door opening, opened, listening to everything that was going on. And then they said, could we, they speak to my son? So my son came out and they had questioned my son and of course, he told them everything that I had already said to them, all the lies I had said, he just repeated all of them. So I was extremely lucky not to have my son taken off me. <clears throat> um, uh, just, you know, my son and my drinking, it's one of the biggest regrets of my life and it rips my heart out to even think about how I dragged that poor little kid up because he was the most gorgeous kid. He was just had the most pleasant personality and he was intelligent and t to have him brought up that way, I would go out at night and once he was in bed and I thought he was asleep, I would go out at night. And he, re I remember him telling me once, <coughs> this was after I gave up drinking because I asked him, I could never have asked him anything like this while I was drinking because I didn't want anybody to tell me how bad I was. I said, oh, you didn't really think my drinking was that bad or you didn't really mind me going out at night, did you? And he said, mum, when you went out at night, I would open my bedroom window and yell out, mum, come home. And when he told me that, just about ripped my heart out. I stopped for him I stopped for myself but <clears throat> I stopped for laying too as for my drinking <clears throat> I've never admitted this to anybody <clears throat> I've never made it a secret but to say it out loud like when I drank I was terrible I, I I would sleep with anybody. I was, when AIDS came out, I was absolutely positive I had AIDS because I'd slept with so many different men all the time. And I knew I'd wake up the next morning, I'd be so guilty and so disgusted because it wasn't me. I was an entirely different person when I drank and I couldn't stop it. I was entirely different. And you know, I used to get into fights and I, I was just horrible. And so to the night that I gave up drinking, so I'd often thought to myself, I have to give up drinking, I have to give up drinking. 